Hello, today I am going to play By the Bullet, You Are a Legend. We are playing scenario 11 from the expansion. We have a character sheet at the left, a character sheet at the right, the game map in the middle. We have the conceal, concealed uh, counters in the to place and we play them according to the setup. So I shuffle them a little bit. You have seen that there are numbers on the back and I place them on the question marks like indicated in the scenario setup. So the concealed counters allow to make uh, each scenario a little bit different. Um, I'm playing with just one small character. Uh, normally you can play with the standees, but for the visibility I will use the counters instead. Uh, I roll a die to know where is my setup position. And in this particular scenario I have to choose one of the white numbers. And so my starting position will be here. If I have a second character, he will be placed on the red numbers, but it's not the case here. So the scenario is uh, that there is a prisoner we will, uh, which have to be hanged. I need to go to this space and then I can activate uh, the scaffold so that the prisoner will be hanged. So my objective is to hang the prisoner. The objective of the outlaws is to uh, free the prisoner and to escape with him. Uh, to free the prisoner, they have to go exactly to the same position. He, he spent an action point and uh, then he will be free. Uh, there is a, a small stairs here, so the entrance of the scaffold is here, but the exit is everywhere. Um, so we have chosen a starting point, we placed the concealed markers, we need to know which are my weapons. So I roll a first die on the table, the equipment table, five, that's a shotgun rifle, and I place it here, and I have also an add-on weapon, it's number three, it's a revolver. So that's an excellent combination. I place also the Sheriff Star here. I need to find out who are my opponents. I'm making the more difficult, I'm playing the more difficult scenario with three opponents. I draw randomly uh, some characters here. And that is uh, Cathy. And that is Susan and Billy. So we have, uh, we are more or less ready to play. Uh, and uh, yes, one extra element is the horseshoe that I get. It's, uh, uh, it allows me to re-roll one die or dice uh, when necessary. So everything is uh, ready to play. We start uh, by moving the concealed uh, counters and we roll a die to, for the dice. So two, it means that they will move horizontally in the case of dice. So their target destination is here. So for, we move from top to bottom and from left to right. So first we move this concealed counter and the shortest way is this. We pivoted a little bit to indicate that he moved and this one. And we check in fact immediately if there is a line of sight. But as you can see the scaffold is in between so we don't see him yet. We move this one here, then this one cannot go there, so there is only one option, he is going in this direction. This one 
so the preference is horizontally but it is uh, blocked so it will move downwards he can move here we check also again if there is a line of sight there is still a small part blocking he is there is a wall here so he has only one option to move closer to the target which is here uh, this one will go here we don't have a line of sight uh, to this counter this one um, you know, we have to, uh, this is going too far, so it will go here. No line of sight here. It will go horizontally, like we said. Horizontally. Hmm. You have to count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there is a tie, so it moves horizontally. Because we have a line of sight, we flip it over, it's number 10. Number 10 is not here, so we remove it. Finally, we have a last one. It goes also horizontally, so it will be in uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, okay, this way. All concealed markers have moved. Now it's my turn. I roll a die. Six. I check the number of action points that I get. It's four action points. Um, I think I will move a little bit left. Then I can have a view on these two and this one. I think it's the best first action. Just to simulate the number of action points, uh, we have these uh, counters. Okay, I spent one first action. I'm going here. I have a line of sight to this one. It's number one, but that's Ron, and Ron isn't there, so we remove it. And in fact, I have also a line of sight to this one, so we flip it over. It's number seven. Oh, that's Cathy. A first opponent and, and this one we reveal number two but number two it's myself so it's nobody and then finally this one it's nine it's also nobody I have to check no 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 all line of sight are fixed so we have a first opponent um, here uh, Crossing the window cost me two. I can also move here and try to shoot. I can do this. Yeah. Let's move here. First step. Then to, uh, because it's a little bit a difficult shot Oh, I can shoot twice with my shotgun, but if I miss, okay, I aim and I shoot. Aiming is one action point and shooting is the last action point. Let's count the hit number, of calculate the hit number. So we, the distance is one, two, three. We add the sweat level, so the seven. This is um, interior space, that's eight, nine, ten. And the door is 11, but minus uh, minus 2, so I need a 9 to score a hit. Now, it's not so easy. Okay, exactly 9. So Cathy gets already two wounds. I lose one bullet and my turn is over. After my turn, it's Cathy's turn. So, uh, we roll one die to know what is her action. Five, shoot twice, otherwise move closer to target. Oh, that can already be dangerous. Shoot twice. So, uh, to make it easier, we roll uh, 
at once the four dice and the first bullet will be always the white and second one always the red. So 12 is a four, that's terrible. Uh, six points because four from the sweat, two wounds, that's six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12 from the door. Hmm. So the first, so this a rather difficult shot. This is a miss. And this is a, hmm, an excellent shot. I will already use my horseshoe, so forcing a reroll. Otherwise, I, because it's uh, two times six, so it gives me two wounds. I don't want two wounds to start with the game. So a six is a failure. She loses two bullets and her, uh, and then otherwise, okay, move closer. Otherwise, but she has shot, she doesn't do anything else. Next round, next round, we have to move again the concealed, uh, counters so the concealed counters move uh, in this uh, situation now uh, vertically i forgot one thing i think I have a line of sight to this one so we have to reveal it it's 11 it's nobody so vertically to this position he goes there I have a line of sight to the window, so we reveal it. it's number three. Number three is Susan. Oh. <clears throat> That's uh, her. I'm, uh, I'm in a bad position for the moment. Uh, this one is going uh, vertically. It's not possible, so it will be here. Mm -hmm. I have also a line of sight. Six. That's nobody. We can remove it. In fact, we have only one character left, and that's Billy. And the last one that we discovered is the boss. So we only need to find Billy. And this one moves uh, vertically. It will be in this direction. I have no line of sight. Yeah, vertically is this, this is line of sight, 12, there's nobody, vertically 1, no line of sight and no line of sight. In fact, there are only three concealed markers at the end of the uh, uh, second round. So it's, you, know, you see, it's going very fast. Arrow again for uh, my action points. One. One is not so good. I have only two action points. I have two enemies. Uh, at either side. Okay, I have... I may not hesitate. I think I have to move inside and try to finish uh, this lady. Oh, three. That's a very bad roll because it means that I've jumped my shotgun rifle. I didn't shot a bullet, but I uh, simply jumped it. So she's not dead. Uh, I have also no horseshoe to reroll, so that's uh, not a good, good situation. Okay, it's a game. Um, my turn is finished. Let's see what Susan will do. Five, move closer to target vertically. The target is a preference, but the target is still here. So she goes there and then shoot. She has a line of sight towards me. So we'll shoot also with a shotgun rifle. Um, let's quickly calculate four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for the interior space and 10 for the door. That's seven, that's a miss. So she loses a bullet. 
and uh, I was lucky. Uh, let's see what Katty do. Five. Uh, shoot twice, otherwise move closer to target. Shooting twice is not so good because I'm much closer now. Okay. Uh, we have forced nine and then five. So we calculate. We have six points here. The distance is uh, seven, eight. And the cover is nine and ten. So we need ten points. She doesn't have ten points to... Uh, to score a hit, but she has nine and it's one point less, so I get a close call for next turn. I put the mark uh, the counter here. She loses two bullets. The round is finished. It's back again to the concealed uh, uh, counters. So just for the ties. Is six is a horizontal move. This is not a tie because uh, the first the choice is horizontally. Uh, horizontal move. There is no line of sight because there is a wall and there is also a horizontal move. I still don't know where uh, Billy is. I hope it's not him because he's very close. Okay, I quickly need to finish uh, this. Uh, Katty with a, a jumped. Oh. Uh, okay, let's roll for the number of actions. It's six. Minus one is five, but still four action points. So that's excellent. Uh, four action points. I have two choices to either I try to unjump. Or I switch to my uh, revolver. Uh, let's just uh, switch. We don't. We don't have time to lose. We switch. Um, We aim, just to be sure. Yeah, or I can move closer also. Then I'm, that's maybe better. I move closer. That's, no, I, I just shoot. I can shoot two bullets. And I think uh, four, Ah, let's shoot two bullets. We don't take any risk. So the first shot is seven and then we have six. So we calculate four. The distance is five. The door doesn't count, but the interior space uh, counts. So we have six uh, as a, a number and the, the first uh, bullet is already a hit. So Katy is dead. We pivoted in this way to indicate that she uh, she isn't there anymore. We lost uh, two bullets and um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so the this the, so I went downwards. I switched weapon, went downwards and shot. Uh, so I have still one action point left. Uh, da, 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 da. I can reload the bullet, but I... Let's uh, move this way. Okay, it's Susan. Six, shoot twice, otherwise move closer to target by preference horizontally, if no line of sight, ambush. She moves here, closer to the target. Okay, I need to, I took a risk to stay away. Uh, yeah, okay, 
if no line of sight, but there is a line of sight because there is a window here. Those, so she doesn't put herself in ambush. Uh, that's it for Susan. Billy is not active yet. So next round, we move uh, the concealed Marcus and by preference vertically, but there is no choice in, in this uh, for him. He uh, moves this and this is vertically. Okay, it's my turn again. One. Okay, two action points. Not so good. Not so good. What I can do is moving upwards here and then I shoot with my revolver two bullets in the direction of Susan. So, uh, eight and nine. So we have a sweat of four, five, six, seven, eight. The window doesn't count. So, one hit, two hits. Two hits. Susan is already heavily wounded. Uh, two bullets. That was my turn. Susan gets activated. Two. Two means move closer to target horizontally and shoot. But when she moves horizontally, uh, she can't shoot. But worse, if she is at this position, she must convert, according to the rules, uh, to free the prisoner, an outlaw, may stand on space X, exactly here, use a shoot action to free the prisoner. So the prisoner is freed. Oh, I lost too much time. Uh, the prisoner get activated as number nine. So she is now, act the prisoner is activated after her. And I have no... Uh, And no way to prevent him from moving. And then the last sentence is move back if a shot has been fired, but there has no shot been fired. So she remains out of sight here. After her. So like I said, it's a prisoner. And uh, in uh, the solo mode, the release prisoner gets activation number nine. Each turn he runs away two spaces to the nearest border in order to quit the map there. So the nearest border for him is one, two, three, there or there. Um, we have to roll in which direction, or if one, two, three rolls in, in, is running in this direction, otherwise in the other direction. Oh no, not good. One, two. I'm afraid he will escape before I can do anything. Oh, it's very difficult now. Um, next turn. So we move the concealed uh, counters. We roll a die. Uh, two. Two means that uh, is horizontally, but because he's already released, uh, When the prisoner is free, the target is to quit the map via the nearest bordered border. So they have a new um, target. It just ran away. Uh, so he moves. Uh, nearest border is here. Nearest border is one uh, there, and he has a choice. So one to three is the, this direction, is four is this direction. Okay, I need to act very quickly with just two bullets and a jumped uh, shotgun. <laughs> one, oh, that's terrible. Two action points, two action points. Uh, uh, 
What can I do with two action points? Not much. Not much. It's a little over. Let's move outside. Let's last desperate. Uh, or will you move outside here through the window? We see this counter. It's four. This is Billy, the, the boss. Uh, we can remove those two concealed counters. Uh, my turn is finished. It's chosen. It's turn five. It's moved closer to target. But, but our target does change too. So our target is to move away and then shoot. But she can't see me. No, 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 no. Just a small piece. Uh, now it's uh, Billy's turn. We roll a die. Four. Move closer to target. The target is here. Uh, and, sh and shoot. He has a winchester, so, so he will shoot at me. While running away. Uh, eight. He has four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's a hit. I have a spare life point and I remove the spare life point and he uses one bullet with his Winchester. Move back if a shot has been fired. So he's uh, coming closer and he runs away and unfortunately you win if you can kill all outlaws, but you lose if one of your characters is killed, which is not the case, but if the prisoner escapes via any border, which is the case. So it's already game over, but I hope you enjoyed seeing how uh, the game works. Uh, you don't win uh, any time, it's uh, uh, made uh, by purpose a little bit difficult. And also I need to remind you that I have chosen a more difficult scenario with three opponents. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to bite the bullet.